Today I will be showing you how to flash custom ROMs onto the Redmi Note 6 Pro. I am using an AOSP ROM as my example, so this tutorial mainly applies to this kind of ROM, and will not be the exact same process for MIUI ROMs. It's a really easy process, and while it seems overwhelming at first, it can be broken down into just a few steps, and you can learn how to do it really quickly. So the first step is to find and download the ROM you want to use, the Google apps for your device, and some firmware to make everything work. It's always a good idea to read the entire forum post for the ROM, as the developer will leave instructions for installation, and you can see if there are any reported bugs or additional files to install with the ROM. While that downloads, you should find the Google Apps version for the ROM. Most AOSP ROMs do not include Google Apps, and you have to install them separately. Some ROMs, like Pixel Experience, do include them, so just check before you download the ROM. Tulip is ARM64. The ROM is Android 9, and I personally prefer the Pico package, but you can use any one you like. Now, firmware is a tricky subject. You can't always know which firmware to use. I personally use the version that I already have installed. Generally, the forum posts about the ROM will recommend a firmware version, but Siberia didn't, so I am going to guess that I can stay with the version I have, which is currently 9328. An important note, however, is that the firmware needs to match the Android version you use. So Siberia is based on Android 9, and the developer is using blobs from MIUI based on Android 9, so we really need a firmware that is based on Android 9. I can't use a ROM without Magisk installed. It's optional and not all users need it, research it more if you're not sure. Now that is all downloaded, we can move the files over to our device. If you have an SD card in the phone, I recommend using it to store the files, since it won't be easy to accidentally wipe it. You can also download the ROM files directly to the device from a browser. Now we have to flash the ROM from TWRP. A backup is always recommended before flashing ROMs and other modification. First, wipe Dalvik Cache, System, Vendor and Data. Data has to be wiped between ROMs. Don't wipe internal storage. Then go back to the home screen and select install. Navigate to where you placed your files on device. This is my Siberia folder. Install firmware first if you need it, then install the ROM and Google Apps. Leave Magisk for now, as some ROMs will not boot with Magisk installed from a clean install. It can be flashed later. It will take a moment to install, I recommend waiting anxiously to see if it completes without errors. When it finishes, you can reboot. The anxiety will intensify until you see the boot logo. The first boot can take up to 5 minutes, so have some patience and don't worry, I did some editing to speed it up. If the device does not eventually boot, you can go back to TWRP and try to flash again and check you did everything correctly. Now it's time to go back and install Magisk from TWRP. Just go to Install and select the Magisk zip file and the rest will be automatic. Reboot straight away and wait for the Magisk icon to appear in your launcher. Now you have root and can still pass safety net. That is really everything you need to get custom ROMs installed. Thank you for watching and I hope you'll check out my other videos.